Hi everybody, I am Dr. Nischal, practicing as an aesthetic dermatologist at Nirmal Skin and Hair Clinic, Vijayanagar, Bangalore. Vitamin E is a strong antioxidant. So, it's a very good molecule, especially when you take internally rather than externally. See what happens is on our skin, not all things what falls on your skin is readily absorbed by the skin. Because if that happens, then everything enters your body. So we have a strong barrier. We have a nice compound wall, okay, which is made up of fat and protein. So this layer protects your skin from anything getting inside. So naturally, even some molecules which are beneficial to the health may also not penetrate the skin. Vitamin E is also a molecule like that. Even though it's a fat soluble vitamin, it's a little bit dense. So when it is dense, the molecule does not get absorbed so efficiently. So then what happens with that molecule? It only works like a moisturizer. So since it's a fat soluble vitamin, so naturally it works like it helps in hydrating the skin. Apart from that, the absorption is not so much. So if you want to have the actual benefits of vitamin E, then taking it internally is good. You can apply vitamin E on the skin if you really have it. See, it comes as soft gel capsules, which you can burst and open and you can apply on the skin. Many of the creams have vitamin E. Okay, so it's more like an additive thing. It contains a small quantity of vitamin E that also helps you. But ideally, if you ask me for general health, vitamin E taking internally is much better. See, because vitamin E also reduces the clotting tendencies. So when people are hypertensive, elderly people, to reduce the heart attack risk, vitamin E is beneficial. But one disadvantage with that is it reduces the clotting. So if at all some people get hurt somewhere, the bruising is more. So if you have a tendency for bruising, please don't take excessive vitamin E. And if you're planning for any surgical procedures, do inform your doctor that you're taking vitamin E internally. Because if you're on vitamin E, the chances of bleeding is more. So if your doctor is not informed about that, then there can be a little bit of more of oozing and bleeding can happen. See, this applies even for your aesthetic procedures. If you're doing botulinum toxin injection for relaxation of the wrinkles, or you're doing fillers, or you're doing PRP. So wherever there is a prick, if the clotting is not happening fast, then what happens is there is a ooze, there can be a bruise. Take care of these aspects. So if you have vitamin E, you can apply on the skin, but I would always say that you have it internally.